good afternoon. You're too kind. Thanks. Students, as your name is called, please come forward to the base of the stage to accept your commission from Stefan. Anna. Over my time here at Conserve, I've grown and learned so much. I'm now comfortable alone in all elements. I'm comfortable with myself, and I'm comfortable sharing real myself with others. I've made so many wonderful friends that will last me forever, and memories that will always make me smile. Conserve will always be a home, a family, and a part of my heart. I want to help as many people love the outdoors as I possibly can. And being here has shown me so many ways to do it. Congratulations, Anna. <laughs> Olivia. During this semester, my knowledge and perspective on the world grew exponentially. It taught me to remain confident and strengthen my independence. My time here has shown me that there are many like-minded people. Before I came to conserve, I didn't comprehend all of the environmental problems in our world. Lowenstein School taught me how I can raise awareness and implement a solution. I plan on restarting my club called Mark, Many Acts of Random Kindness. Yeah, only now with an environmental twist. I am so thankful for these experiences. Congratulations, Olivia. Audrey. Audrey writes, during my semester at Conserve, I learned what my values are and that it is possible for me to make a difference. I learned that the people I've met here and the connections that I have formed with nature will shape what I do for the rest of my life. They have given me the confidence I needed in order to take a stand for what I believe in. With all that I have learned, I hope to have a career where I help living beings. Congratulations, Audrey. Callie. <laughs> Callie's Taking Action Project for Stewardship class aims to get Reedsburg students outside during the school day. To achieve this, she has created an environmental education curriculum and the educator job position to deliver the curriculum. She hopes to be involved in the hiring of this new educator and hopes to encourage all teachers to take their classes outdoors. In addition, she intends to speak to her class about her conserve school experience, share the importance of outdoor recreation, and take middle schoolers on field trips to her school district's outdoor learning center. Congratulations, Callie. <laughs> Caroline. One of the biggest things to take away from my conserve school experience is the fact that in only one semester, compared to the many I have spent in public school, I have learned so much about myself, others, and the world around us. I have been given so many opportunities to try new things and to work on the skills I already have. I am so grateful for these chances and to have met 59 other people that I may not have ever met. Congratulations, Caroline. Claire. Conserve School took me out of my comfort zone. I was given opportunities here to express myself. Through this, I developed a better understanding of who I am. This personal journey has given me deeper and stronger connections with my CS17 friends. I am excited to go home and strengthen friendships I have there. Being more in tune with myself encourages others to be so too. I'm excited to inspire personal growth amongst my peers. This new skill has opened many doors for me, and I look forward to where this will take me. Congratulations, Claire. Coulter. This semester has given me a newfound sense of confidence. I feel much more confident in my critical thinking and thought diving. I also feel much more comfortable in my ability to make a difference. 
having gained more ideas of how to go about it. I feel more confident around my peers and have gotten much better at communicating my thoughts and opinions. I believe that confidence and preparedness are some of the main keys to making a difference. Now it will be easier for me to make a change in the world. Congratulations, Coulter. Christian. Since I've been living here at Conserve, I've learned a few really important lessons about myself, like how I think and the way I learn, realizing how I'm not as involved in my community as I should be, and how I don't really analyze other people's points of view. Over the time that I've been here, I've slowly tried to reflect on these realizations to see how I can improve. After Conserve School, I plan to get more involved with my local community and its issues. Congratulations, Christian. Cyprian. Coming to this mysterious school deep within the Northwoods was by far one of the best decisions I've made. Words cannot begin to describe the experiences I've had with friends, teachers, bogs, trees, snow, and so much more. Spending a semester here, I've discovered where my heart truly lies. Being here, I've gained a deeper understanding of our world, and while it's great, my eyes have opened up to all its flaws. My independence, passion for topics, and overall, my passion and love has doubled since coming here. Congratulations, Cyprian. Danielle. Danielle writes, I grew up reading about exciting adventures, and now I am glad to have made some of my own. While it may seem like nothing could compare to the memories I've made this semester, I am confident that we'll continue to grow. I want to return with a greater understanding of what I can give to the world. I hope to continue exploring and creating new adventures, hopefully some of them with the rest of you all. Congratulations, Danielle. Elizabeth. Elizabeth writes, this semester I have learned much about myself. I have learned I am determined to make a difference in our world. I discovered that my purpose is to become a scientist so I can help others through research and understanding. I want to study veterinary medicine so I can help find cures for things like CWD in deer and white nose syndrome in bats. After conserve, I will go after these things and not sit on the sidelines waiting for things to happen. I want to soar. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Ella. What I wanted most from this experience was more passion. Passion for life and for the world around me. I realize now that I have gotten just that, and it has made a bigger change in my life than I ever could have imagined. I find myself constantly enthusiastic and curious about the next adventure that always lies right around the corner. The people, places, sense of community, and enthusiasm for life here will allow me to go into the world with so much more love. Congratulations, Ella. Ella. I've learned a lot over the course of this semester, certainly about environmental stewardship, but perhaps more importantly, about all of the amazing students and staff here at Conserve. The people I've met have inspired me with their kindness, knowledge, and passion for the environment. I am now motivated to bring the knowledge and passion I've gained back home to Ashland, Wisconsin. I intend to become more engaged with my community, to make an impact protecting the environment, and to share with others everything I've learned at Conserve. Congratulations, Ella. <laughs> Emily. Coming to Conserve School was a tremendous challenge for me, but I am beyond thankful that I came. I feel infinitely lucky to have met 59 brilliant, 
strong, persistent people who I know will continue to do amazing things. Through this magical campus, my love for the outdoors has grown more than I thought possible, and each season has taught me something unique that I hadn't expected. After Conserve, I am excited to pursue outdoor volunteer opportunities, to continue connecting art with the natural world, and to learn more about the environment where I am from. Congratulations, Emily. <laughs> Emily. Conserve School has taught me to genuinely care about issues and to see things from every side before coming to any conclusions. It has taught me patience and acceptance. It has taught me to be proactive and kind. I have grown familiar with the loving, supportive family and students for whom I am eternally grateful. Every person here has impacted my life in some manner, and I now know how to advocate for the issues I care about. Conserve has enhanced my voice. Congratulations, Emily. I now welcome to the podium Stephanie Sinitor. Bye for now. Good afternoon. Emma. Emma writes, a wise man told me once that most of the time in life, we lead ourselves into things and then wonder why we are there, and that this is usually a good way to go about life. I came here unknowing of the challenges. I learned that by wandering, one becomes closer to that light within oneself. To quote Brian, I suppose if we ever knew exactly where the light was coming from, getting there would be easy. And to quote another, Estelle. Estelle writes, my definition of family has changed forever. I am now integrated into many deep relationships, each meaningful and impactful in all different ways. I am completely immersed in the curriculum, awaiting class the next day with a sense of eagerness that I rarely find linked with education. I've made realizations within myself that I will carry with me forever. I've learned the importance of close relationships, how to remain in touch with my inner feelings, and the art of communication. Overall, I've learned love. Congratulations, Estelle. Ethan. This experience leaves me with memories, important new skills, deepened self-knowledge, and critical thinking skills that will shape the rest of my life. I know how to advocate for the environment in different ways and to live in a community harmoniously with my peers. I've made amazing friendships that have brought out the best in me, friendships that will push me to do new things and at the same time to laugh my hardest in order to thrive. It will all guide my learning and growing throughout the rest of my life. Congratulations, Ethan. Fiona. Fiona shares, this semester I have learned a great deal about what love and community can and should be, more so than I ever could have imagined prior to coming here. Such love is something that I hope to bring back home with me and carry over into other aspects of life. I have gained a deeper understanding and respect for this place than I have for any other, and, and hope that I will be able to do so with other areas in the future. Congratulations, Fiona. Georgia. Conserve has started a fire in my soul. I've learned that I have a passion for changing the world. I don't have everything figured out yet, but another thing Conserve has taught me is that even if I don't, I'll be okay. I may want to be an environmental architect, or a journalist, photographer, or maybe something brand new. I just know that I want to help people and the earth. Finally, I want to thank everyone who made this whole experience possible. Thank you. 
Congratulations, Georgia. Hannah. Hannah reflects on her time at Conserve School. This has been a life-changing experience for me. Here, I've learned about what's really important in life, caring for others, speaking my truths, and standing up for those who have no voice. My friends and teachers here have inspired me to be the best version of myself. Being at Conserve has given me the tools to do things I would have previously thought impossible. I hope to carry these skills with me for the rest of my life. Someday, I too can make a change in the world. Congratulations, Hannah. Hayden. I am not going to be sad when I leave Conserve. I will be happy for the time I've had here and look forward to what comes next. Conserve has taught me how to pay more attention to detail, be self-sufficient and determined. Now I have grown to appreciate and understand every beautiful place or opportunity I encounter. I am an experienced traveler, and every place I've been is even more extraordinary than the last. I just can't wait to see what's next. Congratulations, Hayden. Hayden. My time here was filled with astounding realizations, profound insights, and memorable experiences. It has given me the strength to step into the world while allowing me to retain what makes me who I am. Conserve School has opened my eyes, mind, and soul to the wonders of a supportive community that cares about me as much as I care about them. For this, I will be eternally grateful. I hope you know and understand that I will always be there for you. Thank you. Congratulations, Hayden. <laughs> Helen. I knew this experience would be an incredible time, but it totally blew my expectations away. I got to do so many new things, including wild ricing, caving, beekeeping, and even climbing Mount Denali with a 14-foot pole. <laughs> This experience has humbled me in so many ways. The teachers and teaching fellows, the admins, even the dogs, and of course, my lifelong friends taught me something new every day. And I will take all of this knowledge and love with me for the rest of my life. Congratulations, Helen. Isabella. Isabella wrote a poem that I'll share. A hemlock grows strong, striving through days in a beautiful fall wardrobe, and standing strong on the darkest evenings when the stars are too scared to wink. There are moments when she wants to fall, let frost creep over, but she endures the hard moments waiting for bright days to come. She grows the tallest in the unique times. Without them, she wouldn't be who she was. As she grows taller, she leaves behind where she once was, but it'll always be there in her deep needles and maroon bark. Congratulations, Isabella. Jackie. Jackie shares, Conserve taught me many things about myself, our environment, and the world we live in. I've noticed growth within myself throughout the semester. Conserve helped me get out of my shell and try things I've never done before. I am thankful for this opportunity to learn and grow, and I will share this knowledge with my community back home. I also think it's important to notice flaws in our world along with the beauty. This isn't the end of a journey, it's the start to a new one. Congratulations, Jackie. Jay. I have spent a semester eating, playing, and learning alongside people I can say are the closest friends I have. One cannot deny the love and vulnerability that flows proud and confident through our Conserve family. This confidence, love, and willingness to be vulnerable is something that I have packed up with the rest of my belongings and will take back to my sending school. Community. It is my intent to bring home the love, enthusiasm, and joy that has been the foundation to our experience during CS17. 
Congratulations, Jay. Jaffe. When I came to conserve school, I did not know what I was getting into. <laughs> These have been the best months of my life, and the people here have become a family to me. I will treasure these experiences for the rest of my life. I also have formed a deep connection with Lowenwood and its inhabitants. I have developed a broader understanding of how we impact the environment and learn, learned how to advocate for my beliefs. I have enjoyed every part of Conserve School, and I am heartbroken to leave. Congratulations, Jafe. Josh. Coming to Conserve School, Josh didn't know exactly what to expect. He didn't know what relationships with peers would look like, or how interactions with teachers would be, or how he would connect to the environment. After four months, he is certain that all of these aspects have been incredibly rewarding and inspiring. After coming to Conserve School, Josh writes, I now feel that I can truly make a difference in my sending community and create positive environmental change that's far bigger than myself. Congratulations, Josh. <laughs> Kaya. Before Conserve, I had many distant dreams, but now they've become a reality. Rather than dreaming of doing a solo camping trip, I actually have. Instead of imagining all the friends I would make, I experienced valuable memories with them. I have also begun to conquer my fear of speaking in front of people. By performing a testimony and participating in countless English discussions, I have gained a stronger confidence in speaking. Although I still have the ability for immense growth, I have increased my potential self at Conserve School. Congratulations, Kaya. Now I would like to welcome Kathy Palmer to the stage. Hi. <laughs> Catherine. During this semester, I learned more about myself and what I can do. One thing I learned is how to get out of my comfort zone or to get out of it a little bit. What allowed me to be more open to try things was the amazing support of both friends and staff. This taught me that I can actually be social at times, especially in group settings. I mean, I will never be the most social person, but I will be more than I was before Conserve. <laughs> Congratulations, Kathleen. Kristen. Over the past four months, Conserve has been my home and a place where the unexpected was expected. This semester, I have tried many new things, including carrying a 14-foot pole up a hill during English class. And now, as this incredible experience comes to a close, I am preparing to make changes in my community. I plan to attend college at UW-Madison to double major in environmental studies and political science, and eventually get a, an environmental law degree before I run for president in 2036. <laughs> You've got my vote, Kristen. Liv. Liv says, I have collected innumerable stories. I have learned irreplaceable skills and have found an incredibly wonderful and supportive family. I have learned that every day you live and everything you do can be an adventure if you make it one. She is eager to implement her new skills and knowledge in her community explore personal opportunities to strengthen her understanding of the natural world, and find local and global options to teach others how to wonder, how to wonder, and how to find their own adventures. Congratulations, Lola. Lola. To live will be an awfully big adventure, quotes Peter Pan. Uh, we are all going back to our lives after an experience no one can put into words. 
I have made lifelong friends who will always remember and cherish our experience here and made a connection with nature that I did not know I could possibly accomplish. I know throughout my whole life I will use my skills I have learned here. I know even though we will be hurting, we will be doing ama all doing amazing things and never forget difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Congratulations. <laughs> Mayingen writes, it is strange writing a goodbye to a place you consider home. It started with accidentally calling our dorms a home until we became comfortable with the slip up and fell into true meaning. Over these past few months, every week was yielded a, has yielded a new discovery. And I can say that I am excited to go home and learn even more about how I have changed here at Conserve. I am forever grateful to the people here who can make these houses feel like home. Congratulations. <laughs> I never thought a place so foreign to me four months ago would turn into my home. Not only is the environment an aspect, but the people that I have grown to know and love especially. I have an overwhelming amount of gratitude for the connections I've made with nature and the people here. I have learned ownership and passion for my ideas, independence and maturity through living away from home. But most importantly, diversity and perspective. My life will never be the same, and each moment and person has made that to be so. Congratulations, Morgan. Morgan. Upon leaving Conserve School, Morgan shares some of the things she has learned during her time here. Live life to the fullest. Adventures are better with crazy friends. Find some if you don't already have them. Laugh. Be grateful, go outside every day, live intentionally, realize your impact on others, self-care Sundays are important, be excited for every day, wake up early, praise the sunrise, smile at something every day, kindness and love are a common language, find something you are passionate about and pursue it. Congratulations, Myra. Myra. Over the course of the semester, whether it's the teachers, the classes, the community, the friendships, the beautiful North Woods, or the almost constant feeling of overwhelming happiness, I found Conserve School to be so much more than I had hoped for. I have learned how incredibly lucky I am to have been gifted with this experience. It is my hope that the connections and knowledge I have gained from this amazing opportunity will be carried forward into the next chapter in my life. Congratulations, Myra. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Olivia writes, Conser Conserve School has been a joyous, joy-filled adventure and has surpassed all of my hopes and dreams. I have found my place here, where I could be fully myself and fully loved for who I truly am. I have found love in the gentle lap of the lakes, the sway of the hemlocks, the laughter of my friends as we watch the stars light up the sky. Here I am surrounded by love from both an anthropogenic and natural source. I knew I was going to mess that up. Thank you, Olivia. Um, <laughs> anthropogenic or natural sources, and that means more to me than anything in the world. Congratulations, Olivia. Otto. <laughs> Conserve school will take years to fully appreciate. The snow every morning or the peaceful walks in the woods, I've become more confident in my stride and feel stronger, more powerful with my voice. I now understand the, ma the mass scale of what our generation is facing. My hope is that if everyone, including myself, goes home, with their newfound voice, we will create something worth showing the world. I believe that every single person of CS17 can fulfill that goal. Congratulations, Otto. 
Harris. <laughs> Harris reflects, Conserve has taught me how to care for myself on this planet and this planet. I have grown so much and hope to carry this knowledge with me throughout my life and share it with others. My main goal is to continue with my artwork and expand my horizons. I never saw myself taking a gap year, but now I think I should take a year to travel before continuing on to college to study lab imaging. Also, breathing with the trees will become a daily routine. Congratulations, Chris. Peter. In reflecting on his time here, Peter writes, through my time at Conserve, I learned that it is possible to love people who you have known for four months more than the people you have known for 16 years. The connections that exist among the people here are impossible to explain. They just are. Laughter, love, music, life-changing realizations, struggles, stress, sadness, it all plays a part. My view of the world, myself, and my place in this universe will be forever changed. Congratulations, Peter. Phoebe. Phoebe notes that she has been, has had an incredible experience saying, I have learned a lot about how I want to live my life, to live in the moment and to take advantage of every opportunity I get. I have learned how to live with a large group of people and to work through conflicts. But most of all, I have learned how important close, relation, close relationships are to me and that I need to bring the types of relationships I have here to my life at home. Congratulations. Presley. Presley writes, I plan on using the knowledge I have gained at Conserve School to make a school club called Make a Difference. This school club will be a space for students to learn about different global issues and provide students with tools to advocate uh, for these issues. My wish is that my school will be a part of the change for a better future where there is breathable air and equality for all. Congratulations. <laughs> My life before Conserve was much like an express lane. While it brought me to many places, it covered up many opportunities one can notice when they slow down and enjoy the moment. Conserve has given me the opportunity to slow down and experience opportunities that have flown by me. It has enabled me to better understand myself and realize that while flying through the woods on bike or skis is fun, Walking and reflecting can bring a new appreciation and understanding of the area. Congratulations, Sam. I now invite Kathleen O'Connor to the stage. Buenas tardes. Sarah. Reflecting on her time here, Sarah writes, over the semester, I learned independence and how you are never alone, even on solos. People will always be there for you and support you through thick and thin. At Conserve, I've made a new family that I will never forget. Everyone's kindness has made me a better person who is open to new things, whether that's being comfortable while rock climbing or trying kombucha. I am so thankful for everyone here. Congratulations, Sarah. Sean. Sean writes, we all had so many fun and memorable times. No matter how stressed out we got, there was always someone to brighten your day, and I love that about this place. You could go bike, climb, or just explore, and someone would always want to go with you. Sometimes we would just goof around and roll around on the floor, laughing at things that were not even funny. It was great how lighthearted everyone is. Congratulations, Sean. 
Shelby. Shelby writes, being in this extraordinary, extraordinary landscape full of beauty and exploration, I had the great opportunity of learning about the environment we live in, how it impacts us, and how we can help it every single day. I'm returning to my Sunday community with knowledge and a new confidence for making a change. Furthermore, being immersed in a community of passionate, supportive, and strong-voiced individuals for a semester brings me hope for our future, and of course, a group of friends that will last me my lifetime. Congratulations, Shelby. <laughs> Sophia. During my time at Conserve School, I learned a lot about what it means to love and connect. I discovered the value of really connecting to a place and a community, and how that can make you appreciate the world around you more. I hope to continue to learn from places and people as I have here. To me, understanding people and places is one of the most important factors of environmental stewardship, and I aspire to use these skills in the future. Congratulations, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia. Coming to Conserve was very nerve-wracking at first. Knowing my brother came here CS14, I was nervous about how my experience was going to be. As soon as I got here, I knew I would cherish this experience forever. I learned that there are many things in life that will go by so fast and soon come to an end, but all of my CS friend CS17 friendships will last forever. Thank you to someone who, everyone who made this experience truly amazing. Congratulations, <laughs> Sophia. Sophie. <laughs> Conserve School has changed my life for the better. Being here has helped me realize that there is more to life than sitting on my phone every day after school. Being able to constantly do activities that benefit my community has opened my mind up to countless projects I can work on back in Madison. Always being active here made me unsatisfied with just taking a nap after school. It showed me that I need to search for opportunities in my hometown that support my community and environment. Congratulations, Sophie. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Stella writes, I came to Conserve looking for a community and a connection with nature. I found that, and pieces of myself that were lost. The confidence in who I was just wasn't there, and honestly, I had no, cl no clue who I was half of the time. Throughout the past four months, I've gained the confidence I was desperately needing to take risks and to accept that failing is a part of life. I stopped apologizing for everything, and now I embrace who I am. Congratulations, Stella. Tierney. <laughs> At Conserve School, I have discovered my wonderful, horrible, and foolproof ability to procrastinate. No deadline will pass me, says my self-conscious. Not that I turned all of my assignments in late. I just was able to push it to the last minute before finishing them. I really like doing all of the activities here at Conserve. I end up doing them a lot. <laughs> Procrastination will definitely be something that I will be personally working on when I get home. But hey, each deadline always leads to a thrilling rush of adrenaline. <laughs> Congratulations, Tierney. Torin. When I got here, I thought I didn't like snow. I had never seen the way snow can blanket a forest and reveal its hidden mysteries. I had only seen it in dirty piles by the side of the road. This forest taught me how to love snow. Obviously, there are some bigger changes that have come out of this experience, and I have no idea how I would have made it through or who I would be without these loving people and the solitude of this place. 
Congratulations, Torin. Willow. Growth. No one word better captures my conserve experience. Inner growth was cultivated by having space to explore the most authentic side of myself. Growth from strangers into family happened through shared experience, reflection, and open hearts. The relationships I've made taught me about love and the depths of connection rooted within the place. They grew from the soil we tested in science and were sheltered by the hemlocks we stood in awe under. The discovery and friendships will remain close to my heart as we leave this home. Congratulations, Willow. <laughs> Jami. This semester, Jami enjoyed learning about people from different backgrounds in different places. She learned that there is more than one side to every story and now intends to get to know more people and their stories by becoming more active in her community. She believes that it is our responsibility as people of this world to speak out for what we believe in and that small actions can have a big impact. One small action she plans is to use the perfect conversation to help people listen to each other more openly. Congratulations, Jami. <laughs> Zinnia. It's hard to believe time is objective when the family that embodies the place I call home has formed in only four months. In these four months, I've learned about the power of a voice, the inevitable growth in solitude, and the teacher in silence. But mostly, I've learned about love. There is love here, in the swaying hemlocks, in the illuminating sunlight, in the racing stars, and the echoing laughter. This place is love. I'm full and I'm thankful. Congratulations, Zinnia. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe shares, it seems impossible to put an experience of a lifetime into words. Only one word comes to mind, unreal. From the day I got my acceptance letter to today, the last day I will see all my closest friends in the same room. I've been living in a dream. Although I'm writing this a week before the end of the semester, I know I will not be sad. I will be, feel fulfilled with my time spent here and ready to begin a new chapter in my life with everything I have learned here. Congratulations, Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe says, I learned how to listen more than I would before I came here. Conserve has given me the opportunity to grow as a person, make new friends, and form a deeper connection with the world around me. I learned how to open my eyes to what was in front of me and think deeper about it. It would be impossible to list all the things I learned about myself and about life, but to sum it up, I learned to open myself up and to grow. Congratulations, Zoe. <laughs> Suena. <laughs> Reflecting on her experience here, Zoena writes, love is how I strive to start the semester and how I'd like to end it. By being here at Conserve, I've gained a deeper understanding of what it means to truly love, the trees, the sky, the lake, my community. I even love the things unknown that I strive to know, and I love that which I will never know. For me, this experience will act as a stepping stone towards a plethora of new adventures. Congratulations, Suena. Congratulations, CS17.